Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our today's uh, topic is about energy resources, and our today's topic is fossil fuels and formation of fossil fuels. What are fossil fuels? Fossil fuels are formed from depleted living things, coal, oil, and natural gas are fossil fuels. And the formation of coal. There are two steps in the formation of coal. First is the peat formation and then is the coal formation. Uh, in the peat formation, how is the peat and how it is formed? Coal was formed from the remains of plants which grew in each forest about 300 million years ago. As the plant died, they fell and began to rot. The decaying plants formed a thick layer on the vents from the floor of the forest. And this is the, the thick layer of the uh, and the action of bacteria produced by decomposing this thick layer of plants and animals dead bodies and change into a peat in, in the form of a paste and peat by decomposing their bodies the first section is is occurred by and is for, uh, is done by bacteria by decomposing their stru uh, dead bodies and structures and change into a form of peat the next step is to the formation of coal uh, gradually the land sunk with the passage of time due to the flood uh, and other natural disasters gradually the land sunk and water covered it layers of mud and gravels were laid over the decaying plants as more rocks were laid down the seas above the pressure on the peat layers, the pressure of the layers of mud and stone and gravel on the dead bodies and pl plants and animals increased, which and the temperature is also increased and pressure is also increased due to the layers of the mud on the dead bodies of plants. First of all, when the land sunk, the layers of mud and gravel are formed on the peat and dead bodies of the plant and then due to high pressure and due to high temperature uh, of this as you can see on the screen that as you can see on the screen that before the nanosaurs, many giant plants died in swamps over millions of years. The plants were buried under the water and it. And uh, the third step is the formation of coal. Rock and it form a layer on the buried plants. And the high temperature and pressure change the dead bodies of plants and animals into coal. And next our topic is about petroleum and natural gas formation. Uh, petroleum and natural gas deposits are found under the earth, uh, under the and uh, inside the sea and under the surface of sea inside the sea tiny sea plants and animals died and were buried on the ocean floor over time they were covered by layers of slit and sand this means coal is formed by the dead bodies of plants and animals but petroleum and natural gas is formed by the sea plants and animals died and were buried on the ocean floor over time they were covered by layers of slit and sand over millions of years the remains were buried deeper and deeper the enormous heat and pressure turned them into oil and gas the first uh, the main difference between coal formation and gas formation is that in coal formation dead animals plants dead bodies of animals and plants are used but in the gas oil and gas formation petroleum formation dead bodies of tiny animals and plants and sea plants are are found over million of years the remains were buried, uh, buried deeper and deeper second step is same in both formation of coal and natural gas the in coal there is also layers of mud and sand formed on the dead bodies of plant similarly sand and slit layers are formed on plant and animal remains 
and then high pressure and temperature due to these layers high pressure and temperature of sand and slick change into oil and gas deposits now next our oil and natural gas oil was made from the microscopic plants and animals that once live in the sea as they died their bodies collected at the bottom of the sea where they were covered with layers of sand and mud over the thousands of years the layers of sediment became very thick with the passage of time the layers become thick this put the decaying organism under pressure and high temperature and pressure change them into the thick black crude oil the layers of sand and mud turned into rocks called sedimentary rocks these rocks are porous the layers of sand and mud turned into rocks called sedimentary rocks these rocks are porous they have tiny holes porous mean tiny holes rather like a sponge which allow liquids to move slowly through them listen guys when plants and sea animals died and uh, at the bottom of the sea and uh, and uh, covered with layers of sand and sand and mud over th- uh, thousands of years due to sand and mud layers put the decaying organism under pressure in the high temperature and pressure change them into the thick black crude oil what is the color of oil in raw form is black crude oil thick and black and because the layers above the animals and sea animals and plants are formed are formed of sand that's why they have tiny pores which call uh, they are porous means mean they have tiny pores and uh, which allow liquids to move slowly through them <laughs> now they have tiny uh, rather like a sponge Oil rises through porous rock until it meets a layer of impermeable rock, which does not allow liquid through. This means impermeable mean the layers which do not permission to pass anything. First, first, uh, first layer is permeable. It's mean porous, and the second layer over the porous layer is impermeable, which do not allow. liquid to pass from pass through there it means the sand layer is porous and mud layer is impermeable because it not allow to pass liquid or oil through it the oil is therefore trapped in pockets gla- uh, gas collects above the oil because it is less dense gas because the density of gas is less than oil that's why gas is present above the oil deposits under the sea surface inside the sea so there is a diagram compressed natural gas and uh, compre- and cng and uh, compressed natural gas is called cng which we use for in at atom wise but uh, real uh, without compressed natural gas and real gas methane gas we also use for cooking purpose and it is obtained from the under the earth surface uh, reservoir rock and the rock which is formed by uh, inside uh, this is the rock first of all we start from the bottom of the peak there are uh, reservoir rock this rock contain dead body uh, dead bodies of plants and animals which have changed into oil water and gas and uh, this rock is porous that's why liquid gas is passed through this rock and collect above it first of all there is water and then above water because oil has less density than water then there is the deposit of oil and above the oil deposit there is present natural gas and sweet gas which we use for cooking and different purpose and uh, the other layer is impervious uh, rock impervious rocks mean impermeable rock which do not allow to leak the gas from this from this surface and from this portion of the earth so when we have to 
draw and we have to draw this gas out we use different techniques and drill machine to make a hole on the surface of the earth and we can pump out gas and we can collect gas by using by farming wells on the deposits of gas oil and water so next what is fossil fuel next our uh, short question what is fossil fuel and uh, suggest why there are no human fossil fuels in coal what is the reason is that second short uh, short question reason is that because there were no human beings on earth at that time so question 3 4 and 5 and 6 answers i will attach with the video thanks for watching in our today's lecture is ending now have a good time and happy weekend we will see you and we will i will see you now our next lecture till then allah peace